with it being as fully involved as it, as it is, I'm really kind of wondering if we need to uh, call in a second alarm. Like, I, I kind of think so. I kind of think so. Oh, it's done spread through the other house. Yeah, we need to call in a second alarm. No doubt. I have never seen that before. I've never seen it spread uh, from building to building. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have had our first official spread. So what is up everyone welcome back to the channel we're back at it with more emerge nyc gameplay we're back in brooklyn we're on engine 234 and we've already got a call in for a uh, private dwelling on fire uh sounds like it started down in the garage and it's spreading throughout the house so we're going to hurry up and get over there and uh see what we can do see if we can put this thing out anyway happy friday to you all i hope you guys are all having a, a great uh start to your weekend Looking forward to it. Very much so. All right, let's see. Let's this, uh, can I get the door back down? Yes, we can. All right, nice. All right. Let's go and get over here. Yes, I'm looking forward to the weekend. It is finally upon us. No plans though. No plans for this weekend. Just a lazy weekend at the house, I think. It's been kind of a busy week, so. <laughs> That'd be nice to uh, have a lazy weekend. I mean, who doesn't appreciate or enjoy a lazy? Oh shoot, yeah, I <laughs> see the flames already. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's like fully involved. Let's check it out real quick here. Yeah, it's fully involved. Holy crap, that's a good one. I can tell by the lag too. I can tell by the lag that it is fully involved. Yeah, we got fire licking out the front. Definitely have to call in a 1075 working fire. We've got one going for, for real. <laughs> for real, we've got a legit fire. Um, let's see, how could we do this? Let's uh let's pull this guy up right here. I think well one thing we need to do is uh protect these exposures, right? Like and make sure that it doesn't spread anymore to the other uh dwellings. So that when we just got rear-ended too. <laughs> Uh, never fails. All right, let's go ahead and get a supply going, and we're going to get the uh, deck gun up and running as well. So, should have laid in a line. I should have done that. I wasn't thinking about that, but I guess uh, we'll try to do that on the next one, maybe. Go ahead and run this down here and get him hooked up. There we go. Got to protect the exposures. I think that's like the number one priority right now is protecting everything else because uh, it is for certain that dwelling is gone. Like there's no saving that whatsoever. So see if we can pull some line off maybe here. There we go. Got a little extra there. So it's so so stretched tight tight. You know. All right. Let's get this guy. Hook him up and we'll get our wrench. Sweet. All right, let's go uh, get the hydrant on and we'll start the deck gun and then we'll see about moving some other equipment out here. With it being as fully involved as it, as it is, I'm really kind of wondering if we need to uh, call in a second alarm. Like, I, I kind of think so. I kind of think so. Oh, it's done spread through the other house. Yeah, we need to call in a second alarm. No doubt. I have never seen that before. I've never seen it spread uh, from building to building, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have had our first official spread, so between dwellings, so let's get this going right here. I can't even tell. Am I even hitting anything? Nope. A little better there. All right. Let's go ahead and get some more stuff. So now we've got two private dwellings on fire. Yeah, it's going. It's already going. I'm interested. How is this going to affect performance? This could be bad. All right. I think what we're going to do is AI some vehicles in and uh, we'll drive some other ones as well. Let's see. Who's second do? 227 and then 224. So let's get 227 here. Uh, where should we put him? Let's see. Let me, let me select it on this list. 227, where are you? There we go. All right. Let's... Um, Dude, I don't know. Maybe out front. I think we need another one out front, so we'll do that. We'll put 227 right here on the corner. He can help supply water. And uh, who else do we have? Let's see. 214. Let's bring him in. We'll put him on the, the side here. 
whichever exposure this is. I know they have certain names and terms for like each side, but I couldn't tell you. I just know front and <laughs> front and back, left, right. All right, we'll put this guy right here. And oh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, who could be our, let's see, for our uh, 1075, we need, uh, what is it? Uh, four engines and three ladders, so. Starting out, we're gonna call a second alarm in. We need eight engines and five ladders, five battalion chiefs, one rescue, one squad, one deputy chief, one RAC, one satellite, safety battalion, SOC, tactical, field comm, field comm battalion, communications unit. All that stuff we're not gonna bother with. We'll just do uh, eight engines, five ladders, and maybe a battalion chief, something like that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's see. I think actually, let's, who is that right here? I done forgot, who is this dude? Who are you? 227, let's rapid deploy 227. Where's that, right there. That way he goes, he's going ahead and getting a supply going. That one's not ready. All right, let's jump on one, two, three. We'll bring him here manually. All right, let's get in our turnout gear. There we go. All right, zoom out, engine, parking brake lights. And let's go. Sorry, it's a little laggy, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be a little laggy. Not only do we have one dwelling on fire, but we have two on fire, so uh, we just have to make the best we can. And hopefully it'll work out and not be too bad. I've never had two structures on fire in game. Like as first, I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, come on, y'all get out the way. Yeah, it's definitely a little laggy. Man, it is going, is it not? It is going big time in the back there. You can just see all the flames and stuff coming out. All right, so looks like 214 is here as well, so. All right, y'all need to go. This, this street should be closed off. Why are y'all uh, lollygagging down the street here? All right, we got our deck gun still going, so that's good. Pull him up right, uh, right here, maybe. And we'll see about getting some more equipment here. We'll get the rest of our equipment here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, four, and two, two, seven. We got all these guys. Okay, so now we need, uh, we're gonna call in two, four, nine. Get him up here. We'll put him on uh, uh, maybe the corner right here. Put him there and what else we got? Trying to think of the different ways we can come in and attack this. 249, uh, we need 280. Do 280. I'm curious. I wonder if you could hook uh, more than one engine up to a hydrant. Like, I've never attempted that before, but it could be a thing. Let's put 280 on the backside here. It can make an attack from the rear. <laughs> it can do a rear attack. I don't know. It's kind of a stretch, but, you know, we, we need somewhere to put them. All right, we got 280. We need 236 now. It's uh, 236. Where could we put you? Uh, we got any other, uh, hydrants around looking, I'm looking for water supplies. Like we're probably gonna need a lot of water for this. We could put him down here on the corner and run a line up. Maybe if we need, we'll do that. We'll put 280 there. Damn. I've lost track of who we've got here already. Did we already get 236 here? 236. Where are you? I don't know. Two, three, six. At who do we put back here? Who is this? Uh, that's two eighty. Okay, that's two eighty. All right, then who do we put over here? Like I'm totally, totally lost. As far as what we've got. 
right, I don't think we've called in 332. Let's go ahead and bring him in. And let's move him right here. Oh, man, that other place is going really good, too. Let's put him right here. We'll use his deck gun to uh, protect this other structure here. So, 236 is the only one that I'm kind of not sure about. Who is this now? Who, dude, is this 236? Yes, okay, so that should be all our engines, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing one, right? Ah, two, two, two. Okay, we need to bring in two, two, two as well. Uh, where could we put him? Two, two, two. I guess you could go down um, on this corner here. Him down here. Okay. So we've got one ladder, so now we need uh, four more ladders. So let's do that. Four more. Let's get into our ladders. We got one, two, three is here. Come on. Do your thing. All right, we can get 111 here. We can get 176. Let's do, uh, I think 111. Put him right here. There, and we'll put 176. He'll be right here. Hopefully his outriggers will clear everything. We'll put 176 there. And who else we got? Uh, 132 and 175. 132, where could we put you? It can't really do on the rear. It's like not enough. Uh, let's do 132 up here. We'll bring him in this way. 132. And then 175, we'll bring you in. Even maybe this way. Nice. All right. There we go. Sweet. All right. Uh, let's see. What can we do with one, two, three? He's already here. All right. We're not going to worry about positioning ladders just yet. If I can get this to scroll. Come on, scroll. It's like really super laggy now. Come on, do your thing. A little bit further down. We got to get to the rescue units. Here we go. All right, uh, squad two five two. Where could we put him? Uh, I think we're gonna put squad two five two down here. Oh, listen to that! It's chaos with all the uh, sirens and stuff. Like it's complete and total chaos. All right, two five two is going there and rescue two. We'll put you. Um, I think we'll put him on the corner here. We won't worry about battalion too much just yet. They're not really going to do anything. I don't want to go ahead and start like making a serious attempt to get this fire out. So let's put rescue two right here. There we go. I wish, I wish on the rapid deploy, we could like uh, just rapid deploy the supply lines and not worry about the attack, but that'll be all right. All right, I think we're good. Let's go back to two, three, four. Back to two, three, four. We'll man him and we'll get started. Oh, it's so laggy, like scrolling the menus. I can't. Nice. It is so laggy. It's so bad, guys. It's so bad. I apologize. It's so bad. There's not much I can do about it, though, honestly. Not a lot. Not a lot we can do other than, like, trying to put this out. It's, it's kind of doable. It's, it's a little doable, but it's definitely a little laggy as well. All right, let's get our outriggers out. And down. All right, let's do, uh, let's position the ladder here. I knew when we saw, when we had two dwellings on fire. I knew we were playing with fire. Like literally <laughs> we were playing with fire as far as uh, computer performance, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Man, the sirens and stuff are just going crazy. 
All right, let's hop down. It's almost overwhelming. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I think grab an attack line and start putting some water real quick to try to beat it back just a little bit. And maybe that will uh, save our performance just a tad for now. It's a nice scene though. There's a lot of equipment here. And it is going from top to bottom. I did not know you could have multiple uh, structures on fire at once. I always thought it was just one. I didn't know it could spread like that. So that was really kind of a shock. All right, let's see. Start hitting this exposure right here. Maybe we can knock it back a little bit. That's a crazy looking fire, like seriously, guys. All right, had to grab a few screenshots, of course, to uh, document this experience, our first, our first two alarm fire. I don't think it'd go past two though. I think two two sounds about right to me. Of course, I'm no expert, but uh, two sounds good. I don't think we can handle. <laughs> I don't think we can handle the three. No three. I don't think three would happen. That would be uh, what twelve engines and seven ladders. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I, I think we're pretty well. I think we're pretty well done as far as like what we can put on the computer. The stress. It's very stressed right now. It's very stressful. Keep going, keep going. Doesn't look like we're having much effect. We knocked it back a little bit. But I think this is all we're gonna do without, uh, you know, until we make entry. Yeah, I think this is it, maybe. All right. And knock us down in the front a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we're making some headway. We're making a little headway. Yes, we are. We're having an effect on it, so that's good. Let's go to this dwelling here and uh, we'll knock it down just a. Ooh, man, it is really going. Look at that. That is crazy. And it is just fully involved. Like, I mean, it is going. There we go. Now we're knocking it down. Now we're getting somewhere. Too bad we couldn't blast this thing apart with the uh, tower ladder like they do in real life. I love watching them like punch holes in the roof, you know, in the roof with the tower ladder. It just, it boggles my mind. Every time I watch that thing, the, the amount of pressure is just insane. It's like, uh, it's a fire truck and a uh, demolition equipment at the same time. It's all in one. Let's see. Can we do something to this right here? So we've got a lot of equipment here. We can't employ all of it. I'm just one man. I'm just one lone firefighter. So we're having to do this as best we can with one person, but uh, it's still pretty awesome either way to see all this. Yeah, I think we've had, had some good effect here. Seems like maybe the performance is getting a little bit better. Now, I don't think, I don't think I can go down through these uh, garage doors there. I don't think that's possible. I want to say I've tried that before and you can't gain entry through them, so. Down to this side here. This is, this is one of those structure fires in Emerge NYC that's just raging. There, there's some that like, they never really, um, they never really progress as far as like spread. You know, they just kind of, they just kind of stay in the same area, but uh, you run across fires in Emerge NYC where like the whole damn building just goes up. We've seen a few of those. 
We've seen a few of those in the past, so. All right, I think we're getting this exposure taken care of pretty good here. I think the exposures are supposed to be lettered, right? Like A, B, C, D. Assuming A would be the front. And from where it goes from there, I have no clue. Like, I don't know. I, I want to say I've read something about that. It looks like we're not doing much with that back there. Yeah, we may have to, uh, we may have to go in now. We are. Get this. It looks like the other one's under control pretty good, so that's good at least. Don't see a lot of, uh, pure exterior attacks in the videos either that I've done. Like, we always go in and just start hitting them, but, uh... This one has taken a lot of work. Like, I can think of maybe one other old Montgomery County that I did that had a lot of exterior attack, but... Alright, I think we're getting... We're getting there. Alright, we're gonna let, uh... Yeah, the back of the house. Back of both houses is still going pretty good, but... All right, so I know we've talked about doing some multiplayer gameplay. This is where I need your, you guys' expertise, the ones that have done it. I've done it once or twice with a friend, and uh, it did great, but I'm curious, uh, the more people you have in multiplayer, does it affect your performance? I want to know what to expect as far as like having uh, a lot of people in on a multiplayer, like eight people, you know. Does it have a effect on... Um, on your performance and that sort of thing, uh, the more people you have. Coming up through the floor, I'm really worried that we're going to get burned. Walking over that. I guess we can try it. We can try it and see. I mean, worst thing that happens, we die. All right, dude, let's go in. Get our air going, too. So it's definitely raging upstairs. I can tell this is going to be one of those fires where we're, like, constantly getting air tanks. But, you know, it's already, like, we're not saving anything. We're just putting it out. I mean, it's already completely gone, both places. No, yeah, yeah, go back down, go back down, go back down. No, 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 no. Go back down. I can't see. Like, I can't see Jack. This is bad. As Skips would say from the regular show, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Here we go. Do a little uh, first person here. I don't generally do a lot of first person. It gets a little clunky at times, but uh, it looks good. It's good. It's got, like, its situations that it needs, you know. And when you're inside and you're kind of in cramped spaces, it works out pretty good. There we go. All right, we're making we're making progress. Keep going. Is you know it would be hot. It would be so damn hot in here. It'd be cool if we had the uh, the heat effect of the fires as well. Maybe one of these days, you know? Maybe. We can always, we can always dream. All right, I really need to gain access downstairs because it looks like we got a lot, like a tremendous amount of fire downstairs that's coming up through the floor. Around the back here. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly downstairs. I can't I can't really get to it like I can't get over there to I see steam coming up so we're we're having an effect that's good at least Maybe it's just the water dripping down through the floor is putting it out 
Oh, we're out of air. I knew it. All right, let's head back out. Well, we made a little progress, a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll drop this down and get a new air tank. This is going to take a while. This is going to be a long video, guys. I hope y'all are set. I hope y'all are, are buckled in and ready for it. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get you back off. Hold it back on. I really need to gain access to that basement. See if we can do it. See if we can kind of sneak by the fire here. Maybe we just run. <laughs> just Rambo it through the fire. Through into the flames, right? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, now we got access. Now we're cooking. Looks like we got some windows and stuff down here as well. There's something just so satisfying about it. I love just putting water on the fire and watching it go out. All right, sweet. We got that. Let's go downstairs now. Work our way up. We got. Get down, get our air. Nice, yeah, it's really going down here. Yep. No surprise there. Spraying everything. We're getting it all. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're doing it. I don't does this have access upstairs? Yeah, okay, there's the staircase. Okay. We doesn't look like we're having any effect on these hot spots. Sometimes they'll they'll go away, like they'll change color, but uh doesn't seem to be working on this one. Alright, basement's out, we're good down here. Let's go back out. Basement fires are no joke, guys. Like, <laughs> you know, a lot of basements that I've been in as a kid, like I had family members that had basements in their houses and stuff like that. And uh, on quite a few of them, there was one way in and one way out, and that was it, you know? And I was like, man, if there was ever a fire. Now, looking back on it, I was like, if there's ever a fire, uh, that's a bad deal, you know? I don't know if I would ever, if I would ever have a true basement like that. And like, maybe a split level. A split level would be okay because you have outside access, but. I've always heard basement fires are extremely dangerous. All right, sweet. We've got that. I think we're ready to go in and keep uh, keep up with the attack here. Been on air, got half tank, so. Folks cleared out, that's good at least. Got more fire up here, okay, yep. There, we'll go eat smoke for a bit. I know it's not legit, but I don't want to constantly be running back and forth getting air tanks, so. We're gonna do it old school. I want to say maybe next to the forest fire this is like the biggest structure fire we've tackled i i don't know that one place the one like the apartment complex it was uh like four stories you know you know the one i'm talking about the brick one it just like kept burning and burning and burning like you just i couldn't get it out to save my life that 
would probably be close. I think they would be close to each other. Okay, what? Uh, can we not go upstairs again? Is there not another level, or is this it? Smoke is so thick in here. Did I drop my line? Yes, I did. Doggone it. I didn't mean to do that. I dropped the nozzle. There we go. Now we got it. I didn't mean to do that. That was, uh, that was a bad deal on my part. Still hear fire burning. I don't know if that's next door or if that's in here. Guys, I think we're about good on this one. It, it looks to be, maybe. Damn, it's getting dark, too. We've been here for a while. Yeah, I, still, I still see dark smoke. It may be uh, up on the roof. Maybe up on the roof. Okay. Uh, let's. This one looks like it might be out as well. I think it is. Yeah, it is out. It's out. It burned out. Okay. Good. We hit it with a little water from the outside, and then I think it burned itself out the rest of the way, right? It did. Sweet. Okay, so all we got left is something going on with the roof on this one. And I'm kind of worried a little bit because we've had some issues putting those out, right? You guys remember. Uh, and we just completely jacked up our line as well, too. Yeah, we sure did. Our attack line just got, got screwed up. Okay, maybe that's better. Where's the other end at? Is this... Oop. Where's the end of our line at? I, I don't know where it went. It's like we completely lost it. That's one of the more aggravating things is uh, when you drop uh, when you drop your hand line and you lose it. Ah, well, the smoke's going out as well, too. Okay, I think we're good, guys. I think we've got this. Let's get on the ladder. And we'll go check it out. But I think we did it. I think we contained it. And put it out. See if I can gauge this ladder. That's always one of the harder things. Is like things like the guys that operate the uh, ladders. Like they must have really good depth perception because sometimes it's hard to uh, hard to tell. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. We're good up here. We've got it out. Doing good. Is it gonna let me down? No, it's gonna make me fall. Yep. Oh well, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Nice, look at that response. Look at all the stuff we got here. I wish we could have utilized all that. Like that is a lot of stuff, right? Let's get some screenshots. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, get the deck gun off. Wrong side. Ooh, they're crowded over there, man. <laughs> that was close. They crowded up on each other a little bit. All right, we got him. And I, wow, they're just everywhere. Look at all the lights and stuff everywhere. So yeah, we got a second alarm fire. We've got uh, eight engines and five ladders. So you can see they're literally everywhere. And there's some on the other streets as well, too. We got them way down there on the corner, uh, all the way up through in front of the structure. On this corner here, we got the uh, uh, tiller ladder out. Uh, rescue two over here. Another engine. Engine on the back side. We've got squads. We've got it all. Like, this was an awesome fire. It really was. That's very cool. Man, look at that scene. Is that not badass or what? <laughs> Seriously, this is one of my favorites. I do believe it looks absolutely amazing. We had to check in on Battalion Chief O'Connell here real quick to, uh, Look over the scene. Get our hat going here. Very nice. Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. I just, just something about all the lights going at night is uh, is so awesome. It really just is. All right, we got one other uh, special thing we want to do real quick before we end this one, guys. All right, we're doing something very different. I've had someone ask about uh, doing a fire marshal. 
an unmarked car kind of deal. So that is what we're doing. We're using a uh, unmarked NYPD car and we'll roll up as the uh, fire marsh marshal and uh, maybe go in and take a peek and see what uh, what's going on with the houses. What are you doing, dude? Why do y'all want to stop in the middle of the intersection like that? Oh yeah, it's probably, you know, it's not 100% legit by any means, but uh, it's definitely different and kind of cool, so uh, I like it. I think it looks pretty sharp myself, so we'll go through the motions of the fire marshal. Maybe it's something we can incorporate a little bit more of uh, later on, too. And the fire's out, so we don't have to get in any kind of, like, crazy hurry or anything. Let's see. I think we're going to circle around and look at the scene. Maybe down that street there. This is going to be the back street here. All right, we should have a unit or two on this back street. Yeah, there we go. I know we at least got an engine back here. At least one engine. All right, y'all get out the way. Air traffic. Nice. Yeah, we do have one back here, so that's pretty cool. Go. Who's that? Uh, 280. I knew you just had to get by, dude. Like, you just couldn't wait five seconds for me to swing around this engine. Like, you just had to go. <laughs> he had to go. There, finally. Okay. We're trying to conduct uh, official business here. Get ready to start our investigation and we can't. Come on. Go. Nice. This is so cool on the corner right here. It looks good. In fact, I think this is where we need to park. There you go. Sweet. Alright, let's hop out. All right, here we go. So I bet you guys didn't know. Of course, we've got Battalion Chief O'Connell. Uh, his name is, uh, it's, it's Mike O'Connell. Mike O'Connell is uh, Battalion 37 Chief, and his brother, Jerry O'Connell, is the Fire Marshal. So it's pretty cool. He's borrowing his uh, brother's, <laughs> his brother's uh, turnout gear. So we're going to go into the uh, structure that this fire started. And supposedly, the call was for the basement. So we're going to go uh, take a look down in the basement real quick and uh, see if we can figure out what exactly happened. I guess this guy doesn't have a light. Does he not have a light on? I guess not, maybe. Oh, he did. All right, let's open the door. The O'Connell family, they, uh, they do a lot of different things in Emerge NYC. Very busy. All right, that staircase is really janky, man. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, you, as you can tell, the basement was fully involved, like completely, completely involved. Uh, what do we got here? I'm going to say, all right, we got this garage door opener right here, the motor. I think what happened was uh, they closed the garage door, they put their car down here, they closed the door for whatever reason. The motor didn't stop running. It just kept going and going and going and going. And uh, even though, though the door was closed, right, it just kept running because maybe it was jammed. It looks like maybe it's like uh, an inch or so from uh, completely closing. So the door jammed. Uh, the motor kept pushing on it until it got hot and ignited. And that's what started the fire in the basement. And then it spread uh, throughout the entire structure. And... Uh, over to the adjoining uh, dwelling. See, it came up through right here through the floor and then just kind of spread all over. And uh, these buildings are, uh, they're, they're kind of old. I think they were built back in the 40s or the 50s. Uh, they're wood construction. So uh, yeah, 
there you go there you have it that is my investigation uh let me know what you think if you agree with uh, my findings and uh i want to thank everyone for uh, joining and watching and helping support the channel i really do appreciate it i love all of you and uh if you are new to the channel please be sure to hit that like subscribe ring that bell leave me a comment let me know what you think like i said i love hearing from you guys uh, it really does make my day and with all that said we'll catch you on the streets of brooklyn next time peace